That's good enough. All right, YouTubers, we're going to make a, a fermented uh, banana peppers. Banana peppers. It's bell peppers. We're going to make them in this little jar here. It's a pint. It's a pint. Now, on a salt, if you're going to make a brine, it's usually three tablespoons per 32 ounces of water. Well, since we're going to 16, we're going to go one and a half. And put it in there. I mean, it's not rocket science. Some people measure this stuff and they get their crack scales out and start weighing their salt in the water and their vegetables. And Move that over here so they can see it. There you go. And all that. Totally unnecessary. I mean, some people go by four tablespoons for half gallon or two per quart. And some people go three for half gallon or one and a half. We got our salt, the salt here getting solidified. Now for the spices. We're you spice. mean getting, uh, getting. Not solidified. Oh, that's all right. I mean, the it, opposite it, of solidified. Yeah. It's dissolving. It's long, long as you got pretty it's much dissolving. Up and you use it, you know, keep it consistent. It'll solidify here. All right, we're going to use some bay leaf. We're going to use some onion. We're going to use some mustard seed. We're going to use some coriander. And that's pretty much it. To, and you can use any kind of spices you want. If you want it hot, go ahead and put top, um, black pepper seeds. And, Whatever you want. I you know, use red peppers in here. This is just a basic mild one. Then you add your peppers. We're using banana peppers and some bell peppers. We just make a small batch in this little quick jar. Pint jar, pint jar. And I put Yorkshire. Put garlic and all that good stuff. I'm squish it down real good. Give me that weight. Where'd you put it? I don't know. Bro. Now we gotta find the way. Here it is. Let me show you the glass weight. Like I said, this one's got a little handle on it. It's a little easier to get it in and out. And like I take the top of the pepper and put it on there to help hold it down. Put that on there. Squish it down in there real good. And as far as, as far as the, uh, we're not going to, all this won't fit in here. I should take it out. And just keep stirring it while you put it in. And the main thing when you're doing this is that you want everything to be covered by the liquid. You want to bring it close up here? As you can see, the liquid's right there. And that's the way you want. You want all the stuff underneath of it because this will, if not, you'll get rot and uh, mold, yeast. And you just take it and lock her down. And I would suggest sitting it on a plate. For oh, yeah, put it on a plate. And then shake it around once you put the lid on it. Get all the air bubbles to the top. Oh, get all the air bubbles to the top. Because you'll see this thing start bubbling here probably by tomorrow. Yeah, you want to put the spices down at the bottom. That helps uh, so they're not floating at the top. Because air is your... Go ahead, put it back. Air, air is not your friend on this. You do not want air to get into this because you'll get mowed. Now, the yeast is one thing. Yeast is like a white, kind of like a film that goes across the top of it. And if you get mold, it goes like round circular. It can be any color, pink, black, blue, all kinds of colors. You really don't want mold in it. Air causes mold. These jars here work pretty good. These flip top lock jars. Because they'll let, they'll let you uh, air out. Now, if you're going to use a regular mason jar, you see in a mason jar, you have to burp it every day to make sure you let all that gas out. Otherwise, you might have an explosion on your counter. And that's pretty much for the peppers. <laughs> and how long do you ferment those? Oh, you ferment them for, I would start tasting them after about three to five days. And uh, yeah, whenever you think they taste good, they're done. Put them in the fridge. You put them in the refrigerator. Yeah, you got to put them in the refrigerator. This is not canning. This is pickling. I mean, this is not pickling, this is uh, fermenting. fermenting. So anything you ferment, you want to put it in a refrigerator, or if you got a root cellar or someplace where it's cool below 55 degrees, 50 to 55 degrees, that's good, good enough. But yeah, you want to put it in a refrigerator. These will last uh, about up to a year. Cool. That's pretty much it on the, on the peppers. All right, thanks, bro, for stopping in and showing us. All right, now these are going to sit on this plate, and you're going to put it out of the direct sunlight. And that's it till they're ready to go.